Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. And today it's not tutorial, today it just tips how to work right, how you no need to work. I will show you right now. So let's get started. And the first thing I will start from the naming. So this is a really big problem and by this way we can understand is it new user of Revit or this is already the uh, some profi. So how we can understand, for example I have here the wall, right? Uh, let's select this wall and let's select uh, uh, let's see all the walls type we have inside this project as you can see we have the right names right or retaining concrete uh, six feet and on and on we don't have like one 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 or a wall uh, big one or wall small one uh, so as you understand all the wall head should uh, write names for example, for example, my door here, the 8 feet, let's make the 14. Uh, how you can do that? Uh, you select your uh, wall, go to the edit type, and before you will change something, you will duplicate your wall, and I already know this is, will be 14, right? So let's make it 14, like this, and af only after that, you're going to edit type, and you change it to 14. Let's say OK, let's say OK, and I did everything right. Why? Because if I will choose now my wall and I will go inside to, to, to the type, I will see this is now different type and I didn't make some mess up. All my colleagues will understand by this name what is the type of the wall. Uh, so the small tip how you can write your name of the, your walls you will see right now on your screen. Actually, I'm talking about not only about the uh, walls, I'm talking about all the categories, all the families inside the Revit. For example, uh, it's just like example about the walls. For example, some uh, your colleagues saying you should use this type of the wall, you should use that type. But if you will have here the like 111 or 222, so I will do like example how to doing most of the architects, uh, like fresh architects, they're doing like this or they may can do like this for example like 300 350 and when i'm going inside to the wall i not understand what is a 350 uh what I, the structure i have inside this wall i not understand so i should spend time to choose it i should, should spend time to go to the edit type go to the inside the structure and i will only after that I will see, oh my god, this is some terrible because this is not what I want. So spend your time, make the right name and after that this your life will be more easy and make your life uh, for your colleagues also more easy. Uh, as I said, it's not only about the walls. For example, I have here the sofa. If I will choose this sofa, as you can see, I not understand what the size of this sofa yes i can understand this is a sitter armrest it's okay but what the size of this i not understand so i should write here the uh, size of this sofa this is will be totally right so follow up uh, the type uh, the type one which i uh, show you one more time right, right right now on your screen and after that your life will be more easy Actually, I have not finished about the naming. Let's go back now to DWG. As you know, nowadays we are really a lot of using the uh, DWG even in Revit and maybe Archicad, doesn't matter. So uh, let's go inside uh, the insert and here we will find the manage links. So let's go to the manage links and let's check it out what's going on now inside our file. I will go straight away to the cut files and what I can see here, 222. Two, two okay so what is that uh almost final final so or <laughs> i think all the uh architects and students doing that uh dogs uh so maybe this is outline of the dogs uh final 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 so i think this is really final as you can see it's four times final and final final house last final supermarket equipment uh, three lines drawings so as you can see this is naming this is totally wrong spend your time and write it properly because like this i not understand what's going on inside even you not will understand after the month for example you get the vacation and after vacation you came and again continue your working and you not understand what is that final 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 so spend your time to making naming properly this is will uh, will be uh, looks more professional believe me 
And one more thing about the naming. So this is last thing about the naming. Uh, guys, this is really important. Uh, see, for example, here the my furniture. Let's go inside. And as you can see here, it's nothing. Here we have like uh, more the standard parameter. Let's go inside this uh, family. And as you will find here, left size, over side, seat height. Okay, I understand. But over right side, left side, I don't understand. TH111, down one. So don't make the names not so correct so i not understand what this uh, parameter will change inside this family so n right now now in your screen you will see how you can write the correct your parameters so try to make to follow up with or uh, just make your own uh, rules how you will write the names of your families because like this you not will understand so what, what what's going on here so i will say like one fit okay so what it changed nothing maybe it's some something changed but i not not understand what so uh follow up the rules and everything will be cool so and one more tips for you guys uh use or try to use the groups so uh if you for example have the uh, same uh same plan on the first level on the second level and on and on till the level 10 you should use the groups for example uh as you can see here i have the some levels and let's say this is my uh, first level the plan of the first level it's totally same till the level six so how i will work with that uh here is my final plan for plan let's make some walls here inside so this is my final plans and after that i will select everything and i'll create the group and i'll say typical plan one so as you can see even here i just i just trying to follow names uh so let's say okay so this is now uh the group now i will go to the 3d to show you the thing uh you just need for example here i have the problem let's fix it up uh, i will go to the edit type and i will select all these walls and i'll check aha uh -huh, this is unconnected so it should connect it to the level two and i'll say okay so after that i'll select this group and i'll copy it and i will paste just open up the paste one and align to the selected the levels and say let's say from the uh, level two to the level six as i said so just a few seconds and now this is one group so why i did the group because you will work on the only with one group for example with that group maybe you will delete this wall maybe you will delete it maybe you will add something more like for example some uh, furniture or some walls and after that when you will finish work with this group all this group will change immediately so this is how the working with a big scale project you should use the group if you don't know how to use the group leave the comment below i will make a really big tutorial about the groups because uh, most of the companies trying to use the groups it's really helpful Okay, this is, uh, I think, I think this is it for this, uh, like, small tips tutorial. Uh, if you're interested like this, if you want to work like a professional, uh, leave a comment. I will try to make one more about, uh, about the tips for you. And one more thing, guys, if you want to get uh, this work, uh, what I showed you before, this is already building under construct, so this is final drawings. If you want to see how it's working, how it looks like in Revit, you can uh, get it from the My Store. Uh, just go inside to the gum road and here at the two story full house you will find it even with the lumen files if you need of course it's priced because uh, this is my own work this is a commercial thing and that's why it's not totally free but anyway maybe in one day when i'll get some uh, more subscribers i'll try to make it for free uh, so who those who want get it are welcome you can get it so for now it's finished, it's really finished, thank you for watching and see you next time. To support my channel you can go to Gumroad, check that my store, there you can find bottle of this dynamo scripts or you can buy two story complete house or even the two story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys.